what was it like working with Ronnie James Dio? Was he de demanding as a musician and as a professional? It could be difficult at times. I mean, he was an incredible talent, obviously. There's, there's no denying that. Everyone knows that. But um, Ronnie could be extremely difficult. Um, he was very prone to mood swings. Uh, and when his mood was dark, he was very, very, very difficult to work with. Um, he, Ronnie had uh, a need, it seemed, to to um to get angry at people in public um okay. I would, which was an, an aspect of his personality that i didn't appreciate um i always think that if you have an issue with someone that you should keep it discreet <laughs> and ronnie didn't see it that way uh, my personal relationship with ronnie was was not always easy. I mean, we, we had good times together. He could also be very, very funny. I mean, the, the positive aspect of Ronnie's personality was uh, that, that he was a very, very funny and witty and charming person, but his his mood could, could change very quickly and could become very dark and very angry. Okay. So uh, I, I think it's fair to say that he was a nice bunch of guys. Uh, after you left Dio's band, you went on to join Whitesnake, uh, where you stayed for two years. What was it like to work with Coverdale at that point compared to Dio, and um, how did this cooperation with uh, Coverdale end? Um, well, first of all, I'd like to be clear on one point. I didn't leave Dio. I was fired from Dio. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, it's still somewhat strange to me that after 35 years or whatever it is that, that, that people might still think that. So I'd like to set the record straight. I never wanted to leave Dio. I was fired in the middle of the tour. Um, but anyway, about a year or so after that, uh, I got a call to ask if I was interested in, in joining uh, Whitesnake for a tour. And uh, this was when the, the 87 album was completed and about to be released. And um, it was John Kolodner from Geffen Records who had contacted me and he was putting together the band. Prior to that, I didn't really know David Coverdale, um, although Whitesnake had opened some shows for, for Dio on the Last in Line tour in 1985, I think. Okay. Um, but I, I didn't really get to know David Coverdale um, until I joined Whitesnake. And, and David and I had an okay relationship. I found him very easy to work with at first. Uh, but things did change uh, during the course of the tour. The, the tour was very successful and very long. And uh, at, at some point during that, that long tour, uh, David became sort of disenfranchised from the band and, and started traveling separate from the band and staying in different hotels and and then having a different dressing room. And so it became a strange situation after a while. Um, and it led, you know, I think it mostly had to do with his relationship with Tony Katan. And, uh, you know, she also, uh, at the time I had just gotten married in 1987 to my, to my first wife. And, uh, my first wife and Tony Katin uh, didn't get along very well together. So it, it became a very difficult personal situation for me after a while. Um, so between one thing and another, uh, I think I, it's fair to say that it was a mutual decision that, that I leave Whitesnake. Uh, at the time, I was working with a band called River Dogs in Los Angeles to produce some demos for the band. And... Uh, I, I ended up leaving Whitesnake. Um, I think, uh, you know, had it been solely up to me, I wouldn't have left. I would have made the the, rec, the follow up album. I was yeah. excited to do that, but but the situation just became a little bit too strange, and we sat down and we talked, and and uh, I left the band. Um, but uh, I pretty much immediately went from that to working with River Dogs. River Dogs were very unhappy with their original guitar player at the time and uh, they had wanted me to record with them and I told them that I, I wouldn't record with them while they had a guitar player uh, and several weeks or months later they uh, fired their guitar player and then, so then I ended up just joining the band and, and making a record with Riverdogs. Thanks for watching and if you want more music news just subscribe to Ultimate Guitar TV and press that little bell to get notifications.